These are selected scenes from the 86 minute long English Wheel Techniques DVD. Check out all the Covell DVDs at covell.biz. Hello, I'm Ron Covell, and this is a video on the English wheel. English wheels have been around for just over 100 years. They were first developed in Europe, and they were first used in this country starting around the middle of the 20th century. They're sometimes called a wheeling and raising machine, but it's popularly known just as the English wheel. I think a good way to think about how the English wheel shapes metal is to think about how you make a pizza crust. So to make a pizza crust, you start with a big lump of dough, Let's put a little flour on the dough. Then we're gonna take a big old rolling pin and we're gonna roll this dough out. And as we roll it, it gets thinner. And as it gets thinner, it gets wider. Wider and thinner, thinner and wider. And this is exactly the principle that enables the English wheel to take a flat piece of metal and dome it. All right, I think we're going to have a good lunch today. So let's see how the pizza dough analogy carries on to metal. So we have three pieces of metal here, all shared to be the same length. Now I have some spacers put in my vise, so when the vise is closed up tight, it bottoms out at eight inches. And each of these strips is eight inches, so I can tighten the vise fully and nothing happens to the strips. What I'm going to do is to run two of these strips through the wheel repeatedly and that's going to make them thinner and longer. And then we'll close the vise on them and see the results. So the first trip, I'm going to run through the wheel twice. So I have the flat lower wheel put into place and just moderate pressure. We'll roll it through once and twice. And I'm going to straighten this, get the little curl out of it. And the next piece I'm going to run through the machine four times. So here's the first time, here's the second time, here's the third time, and the fourth time. And we'll straighten this part, get it nice and flat. Okay, so let's put these each in the vise and we'll tighten the vise and see what happens. Get them all down flat first of all. Okay, now as we tighten the vise, you'll see that uh, the strips that have gone through the wheel have actually grown in length a little bit, and they'll dome up. So we can see that the piece that was wheeled four times domes up the most. The piece that was wheeled twice domes up about half as much. And the piece that wasn't wheeled at all, it's still exactly eight inches long, so it, it's still laying flat. But look at how much height we gained just from slightly making the metal thinner. Now, I want to do a couple of things. I want to measure these pieces to see how much they've grown. The first piece I'm going to measure with a dial caliper. It's eight inches and five thousandths in length. The second piece is measuring eight inches and forty-two thousandths. And the piece we wheeled four times is eight inches and 75 thousandths. So it's grown quite a bit in length. And let's also measure the thickness to see how much it has thinned the metal, probably less than you think. So the piece that wasn't wheeled at all is exactly 62 thousandths of an inch thick. The piece we wheeled twice is 61 and a half thousandths, so it's only thinned half a thousandth of an inch. And the piece we wheeled four times is just about 61 thousandths of an inch. So it doesn't take very much thinning to cause the metal to dome quite a bit. And that's precisely the principle that enables the English wheel to take flat pieces of metal and curve them.
This DVD includes the following chapters. Introduction, Principles of Operation, Tracking Patterns, Pressure Settings, Selecting an Anvil Wheel, Demonstration Panels, Troubleshooting Panels, Unusual Applications, and Closing Thoughts. Whether you're a beginner or a professional, this DVD is loaded with information that will help you understand how this versatile tool works and how to develop your skill in using the English wheel. The next demonstration is really interesting. This is using the English wheel to emboss metal. And I didn't know about this technique until I discovered it on the Metal Shapers group on the internet. It's absolutely fabulous. The process works like this. Take a piece of material and sketch on it whatever shape you want to emboss onto another panel. So I've drawn sort of a flame shape here, although you could do your name in script if you wanted to. Then once the layout is done, we need to have alignment holes drilled in the panel. So I put four holes on this, two near the center, two near the edge. Now what's very important is that you drill matching holes and another piece of metal exactly the same size. You'll see how that's used shortly. So the next step is to use a saw, like a jigsaw or a saber saw or a bandsaw, to cut on the line you've drawn. Once you've done that, you now have two pieces that fit together like a jigsaw puzzle. And this is what enables you to emboss the metal. The first thing we're going to do is to attach the female part to the metal piece we're actually going to emboss and I'll use Clicos to hold them together temporarily. Now here's the trick. The other panel fits underneath. And what these holes do is they align the panel so the registration is perfect because you need to have perfect registration or this process just won't work. Now I could use Clicos to hold these together temporarily but they might interfere with the English wheel, so instead of Clicos, I will be using pop rivets. Okay. I think we're ready to start our wheeling now. You need to start with a gap between the wheels just slightly less than the total material thickness and you track evenly over all of the edges using just very light pressure to start with. Okay, we're just about to the end. Now we're going to move the lower wheel up a little bit and run over all of those edges again. And let's pull it out and disassemble the pieces and I think you'll see we have a very, very beautiful part that's been formed. So I'll drill out the pop rivets. Take out the Clicos. And ladies and gentlemen, get ready for this. There is our beautifully embossed panel. Pretty slick, huh? So I'd like to offer a tip of the hat to the people I've learned from. And I'd like to encourage each one of you to pick up a piece of metal and get cooking. Thank you. Learn metalworking and welding from a master. Covell DVDs, the standard of the industry.